Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about the USB-C to Lightning cable and the USB-A to Lightning cable. The iPad Pro 10.5 inches is the first and the cheapest iPad that supports USB 3. With the USB 3 Lightning jack, you can use a USB 3 camera to Lightning adapter can import your footages in the speed of USB 3 from your camera or GoPros. However, when it comes to a USB-C to Lightning cable, does it benefit from the USB 3 on the iPad Pro? Should you buy a USB-C to Lightning cable when you already have a USB-A cable? And the newest iPhone XR does not support USB 3 and the data transfer will run at USB 2 at all time. Now, let's start our test. So for the USB-C cable, I'm going to plug it into the Thunderbolt 3 port on my Hackintosh. If you haven't seen my Hackintosh video, make sure you check it out. And the USB-A to Lightning cable does not support USB 3 speed at all, so it's completely running in USB 2 whether the port supports USB 2 or USB 3. So now let's start with the USB-C to Lightning cable. We will try to transfer a relatively large file from our computer to our iPad storage. This is my last video about the Hackintosh. It's 1.67 GB and we are launching the iTunes. You can see there are glitches everywhere in the iTunes. However, the, luckily, the functional surface is, is still perfect. So we go to the file share, go to Luma Fusion, and we're going to transfer this video file to the iPad. So let me hold my GoPro now and get ready, set, go. So it's close to finished and we're going to get a score of 1 minute and 2 seconds, 0.4. Now let's change it into the USB-A to lightning cable. And we are going to do the exact same procedure. And let's delete the footages we used to transfer into inside the iPad already to make sure the Apple file system won't just duplicate one for, our, for us. Press one, delete, and confirm. Now we're doing it all over again.
Here we go. It's 1 minute and 4.93 seconds. It's slightly slower than the USB-C to lightning cable. And now we're going to test about the iPhone Tenor. Currently, there is no definitions and descriptions about this iPhone Tenor about supporting the USB 3. So all the cables from it will run in USB 2 speed. Additionally, the smart battery case of iPhone XR is taking up the phone's lightning jack. I want to test out if this lightning jack will affect the speed of transferring data from a cable to a computer. Let's try it out. First, we connect it with the smart battery case here. And we are going to run the exact same test from the iPad Pro before. So let's go to the file share, go to LumaFusion, and try to import the footages from my computer. Drag it, and ready, set, go. And here we have it. It's 52 seconds point 92. It's the USB-C to a lightning cable connected to an iPhone XR with the smart battery case. And now we are testing with the USB-A to lightning cable. And after connected, start over with the same process again. And here we have it. It's 55 second point 23 and it's the USB-A to lightning cable. It's slightly a little bit slower. So now let's check about uh, removing the smart battery case and see if the score is still relevant to the smart battery case. Let's go and find out. Okay, I've plugged it in with the USB-C to lightning cable and we are doing the exact same procedure as we do as we done to the iPad Pro and the iPhone with the smart battery case. And still it's just the same old work. Again and again and again. Hey, this is life. How life works. And three, two, okay. Unexpected. And and here we go. We got a slightly uh, an unexpected score. It's fifty three point nine because it's actually slower than with the SmartBerry case. Now let's test with the USB-A to lightning cable again. And three, two, one, go. Now I hit the point. get it it's 59.2 seconds and it's much more slower so let's look at the result the iPad Pro isn't utilizing its USB 3 advantage onto the USB C to lightning cable or the USB A to lightning cable is performing great enough or it has only 4% of speed advantage upon above the USB A to lightning cable and the iPhone 10 are having a two generations advantages on the A12 Bionic chip. It's actually performing around 20% better than the iPad Pro overall. However, shockingly, 
this smart battery case is actually accelerating the data transfer in some unknown way, causing a 2 to 10% performance boost on data transferring. That reminds me of some camera which like adding a grip with 3 batteries can accelerate the continuous shooting speed. And the whole video was edited on an iPad Pro with LumaFusion. Uh, if you like my video, uh, consider give me a like. And if you really love my video, consider subscribe to my channel. I will constantly share my feelings. And make sure you follow me on the Instagram so you can get the latest upgrade from me. Thank you.